To aid audit planning, auditors can use the organization's existing risk assessments. These can help the IS auditor to identify risk and threats to an IT environment and IS system and evaluate controls. Risk assessments should identify, quantify and prioritize risks against acceptable levels based on the organization's objectives. These should be performed periodically to address changes in the environment and the risk profile and should use a standardized approach. Individual risk assessments may focus on the entire organization or specific information systems, components or services. Once a risk is assessed, it should be evaluated against the organization's risk appetite to see if further action is required. Organizations can choose to mitigate, accept, avoid or share a risk. Mitigating a risk involves applying a control to reduce the risk. Attempting the risk means the risk is deemed low enough that no action is required. Avoid the risk involves ensuring that actions that would cause the risk are prescribed. Sharing the risk involves transferring it to a third party, such as an insurer. Each risk should be evaluated and appropriate action chosen based on its significance to the organization. When developing the IS audit plan, the auditor should assess the risk to all areas of the IS audit universe and determine if existing risk assessments provide sufficiently reliable assessments. Using risk assessment to determine areas to be audited enables management to effectively allocate limited audit resources and ensures that relevant information has been obtained from all levels of management. It also establishes a basis for effectively managing the audit department and provides a summary of how the individual audit subject is related to the overall organization as well as to the business plans. Once a general risk assessment has been conducted, risk analysis is used to identify specific risks and vulnerabilities and determine the specific controls needed to mitigate them. To effectively analyze risk, auditors must understand the relationship between risk and control and be able to identify and differentiate risk types and the controls used to mitigate the risk. They should also be able to evaluate risk assessment and management techniques used by the organization and understand that risk exists as part of the audit process. Finally, auditors must recognize that risks are dynamic and their management is iterative, requiring constant re-evaluation. The risk management process begins with identifying business objectives, information assets and the underlying systems or information resources. Next, vulnerabilities and threats are identified and the likelihood of occurrence is determined. Then, controls are identified to mitigate the risk. Cost-benefit analysis is used to determine which controls are implemented. Finally, risk levels are monitored to see if changes are warranted.